Let's take a question. Find the equation. Find the equation of plane passing through. Find the equation of plane passing through the points one comma one comma zero, one comma two comma one, minus two comma two comma minus one. Let's find the equation of the plane using the Cartesian form. To find the equation of plane in Cartesian form, let's take this point is x1, comma, y1, comma, z1. This is x2, comma, y2, comma, z2. This is x3, comma, y3, comma, z3. Now we know that equation is given by x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1. Here it is going to be x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. Here it is going to be x3 minus x1, y3 minus y1, z3 minus z1. The determinant of this is equal to 0. Let's put the values. When you will put the values, you will get x minus x1, which is 1, y minus y1, which is 1, z minus z1, which is 0, then 1 minus 1, x2 minus x1, then 2 minus 1, y2 minus y1, then z2 minus z1, that is 1 minus 0, then x3 minus x1, that is minus 2, minus 1, y3 minus y1, that is 2 minus 1, z3 minus z1, that is minus 1 minus 0. Determinant of this equals to 0. On simplification, it will become x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 0, 0, 1, 1, minus 3, 1, minus 1. Determinant of this is equals to 0. Let's expand the determinant along the first row. When you will expand the determinant along the first row, you will get x minus 1 into 1 into minus 1 minus 1 into 1. That is minus 2. Minus times y minus 1 into, it is going to be 0 minus minus 3. That is 0 plus 3. Hence 3. Plus z times, it will be 0 into plus 3. That is 3. So, the after simplification, it will become minus 2x plus 2, minus 3y plus 3, plus 3z equals to 0. So, it is going to be 2x plus 3y minus 3z equals to 5. So, this is the required equation. Now let's discuss an important point. The point is that infinite planes can pass through three collinear points. So if we are given three collinear points, then there can be infinite planes passing through these collinear points. To understand this concept, let us take an example of a book. Suppose, here we have a book and this dark blue line or let me make it red, this dark red line represents the binding of book. This is the line representing the binding of book. Suppose I take three points on this line. This point, this point and this point. This is R, this is S and this is T. So you can see that R, S, T are collinear points because they lie on the same line, the line representing the binding of book. So the cover of the book is representing a plane. And if I open the book, then 
this page will also represent a plane. Let's take another page. Another page will also represent a plane. Let's take another page. This page will also represent a plane. So, we know that there can be as many pages in the book as we want. Therefore, there can be infinite planes that will pass through the line containing the points RST. So, if we make the points collinear, then there would be infinite planes. So, if binding of this book represents the three collinear points, then the pages of the book will resemble the infinite planes. Now, let us learn to find the equation of line in the intercept form. So, now we are going to dis discuss the intercept form of plane. The intercept form of plane. Intercept form of equation of plane. I should rather say this. Equation of plane. In intercept form. For that purpose, let the equation of plane be let the equation of plane be ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0, where d is not equals to 0. So, let us take, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this is z-axis. Suppose the plane passes through three points. This is point P. Its coordinates will be of the form A, 0, 0. Second point is point Q. Its coordinates are 0, B, 0. And third point is this point, point R, its coordinates are 0, 0, C. Now our plane passes through these points. Let's say this is our plane. This pink line represents a plane. This, this is a plane passing through the points P, Q, R. And the equation of the plane is this. You can see from here that the inter intercept made by the plane on x-axis is A. The intercept made by this plane on y-axis is B. And the intercept made by this plane on the z-axis is C. So we write here A, B, C are the intercepts made by the plane on x, y and z axis respectively. Now since our plane passes through the points P, Q and R, therefore the points P, Q and R will satisfy the equation given over here. P, Q and R will satisfy the equation given over here. So now if P, if P satisfies, if P satisfies, let's say this equation is equation number one. Let's say this equation is equation number one. So if P satisfies equation number one, then we will get we will put the coordinates of P in the particular equation and we will get that AA plus D is equals to 0 which will give us capital A is equals to minus D upon small a. Similarly, if Q satisfies 1, if point Q satisfies the particular equation, then we will get BB plus D equals to 0, which implies that capital B is equals to minus D upon small b. Similarly, if R satisfies equation number 1, 
then we will get that C C capital C small c plus d is equals to 0 that is capital C is going to be minus capital D upon small c. Now let's put the values of capital A, capital B, capital C from here into the equation number 1. On putting the values, putting the values of A, B and C in equation number 1, we get, we get minus d upon a into x plus minus d upon b into y plus minus d upon c into z plus d equals to 0 and after simplification the equation will become x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c equals to 1. So this is the intercept form of equation of plane. x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c equals to 1 where a, b, c are the intercepts made by the plane on the x, y and z axis respectively. Now let's do a question. Let's take a question. Suppose the question is find the intercepts find the intercepts cut off find the intercepts cut off by the plane 2x plus y minus z equals to 5 now to find the intercepts Let's convert this given equation into the standard form. And what is the standard form? Here is the standard form. So to convert it into the standard form, let us divide the complete equation by 5. So LHS by 5 equals to RHS by 5 will give us 2 by 5x plus y by 5 minus z by 5 is equals to 1. So we have got this part. RHS has been made 1. Now we want that the coefficient of x should be 1. The coefficient of y, I mean, it should be like x upon a, y by b and z by c. So let's convert it that way. It will become x upon 5 by 2 plus y upon plus 5 plus z upon minus 5 equals to 1. Now compare this equation with this equation in the red block red box. So from comparison you will get from here that a is equals to 5 by 2, b is equals to 5 and c is equals to minus 5. So these are the, this is the x-intercept, this is the y-intercept and this is the z-intercept. x-intercept is 5 by 2, y-intercept is 5 and z intercept is minus 5. Thank you.